Hello everybody, welcome back again to another American Truck Simulator episode. And today we're going to be back in the Freightliner Cascadia. We've already made a couple episodes on this, so... I don't know, we're going to be in this maybe for one last episode before I swap it out for a different vehicle. And today we're going to be rocking the low boy behind us. And we have, uh, I believe, a... Um, I think we're going for a bulldozer that we're looking for today. We're going to be delivering that from uh, Lakeview. Now we're going to be delivering that to Lakeview. And we are currently in Elko, so it is going to be Elko to Lakeview, which is going to be a pretty neat job that we have today. And I just accidentally hit my mic. So let's just try to get out of here without hitting anything. That being our uh, first thing to do. Uh, as of gas, I think... I think we are pretty good. Yeah, I think we're pretty good right now, so nothing to worry about on that. Actually, you know what? Never mind. No, we are, no, we are not. We should head back. Here we go. Just hold the brake as uh, we just go ahead and fill up on gas. Because I severely underestimated how much gas we really had. That thing would only, that kind of tank would only take us like half the way there. Okay. I don't know why my shifter is skipping gears. It's just skipping gears for some reason. Okay, uh, also my map down there, it is a little wonky. I think it's just one of the mods that I'm using, the Google Maps navigation mod that might just be what it is. Okay. Let's keep going over here. Also, the Freightliner Cascadia is actually an automatic truck. I just realized that because this thing is not stalling out even though I'm not pressing the clutch. That's something I'd honestly just have to get used to again because I put this thing back into manual. I put it back into manual shifting. Right. Then and turn right. this thing just isn't stalling out on me, so it's definitely an automatic, but I'm just using gears on it. So I guess it's like just half automatic, I guess. Or no, not half automatic, it's half manual. Careful with the low boy back there, nice and careful. We can go ahead and turn on the lights, not sure why <laughs> not sure why I haven't done it already, but we've got them on now. I'm gonna move my microphone a little closer to me. Just so I'm not like hitting it too much. Okay, we are going to be turning in here, so let's get in nice and close, just like that. Perfect. I can't even see the low boy back there, but I think we're good on that. I mean, we aren't hitting it. In 200 meters, turn right. Okay, uh, 200 meters. Is this 200 meters, or... No, it's the next 200 meters. <laughs> yeah, it's the next 200 meters. Yep, we're right in here. There we go. And we go. We gotta do those wide turns because a low boy is just, like, massive. Okay, let's be nice and careful going through here because, again, the low boy is massive. And it could honestly hit absolutely anything. Now, we want to be careful when loading this thing up. We want to be nice and careful. Let's bring this thing over nicely just like this. Can't see anything over there, but at least with I think a new update I can see a little bit more out of that uh, out of that mirror. Yeah, I can actually see it like a little bit better. I don't know, I, I managed to get it up from 400% scaling, or I managed to get it from 300% uh, scaling to 400%, so 
It's a big up game right there. So let's keep this going just like this. Just like that. Keep the camera on this side too. That's getting a little too close over there. <laughs> Honestly, I'm still not used to just reversing in first person. I'm still not used to it. What have I hit already? Okay, I'm going to pull this thing all the way out. Just like all the way out over here. Just like this. There we go. And push it all the way in. What? Okay, come on. Man, why did they gotta... Why did they gotta make things so hard like this? Like, come on. Damn it. Okay, finally, with... <laughs> I mean, with the help of uh, auto parking, I was actually able to act... I was, I was able to actually get it in there, so... Ah, uh, jeez. I am a terrible truck driver. Sometimes I just look at the other uh, YouTubers who make American Truck Simulator videos, and I just wonder how do they do it so easily. I mean, then there's also Polecat, who's like got the same amount of skill as me, but we don't talk about him. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about him. In 200 meters, turn left. Okay, we are going back over here. Just like this. Continuing on. Honestly, I really like how this game is actually able to identify manual vehicles from actual automatic vehicles. As for like other games, other games, even if like the car is actually automatic, meters, it'll still right. stall the car. But this, honestly, I, I like it. I like it like this. Then there's BeamNG. Uh, BeamNG will actually translate it. It'll translate like uh, automatic and manual, but it won't even tell you which one it is. So it just leaves you guessing there for a minute. It's just like, is this car automatic or uh, manual? And then you just flip, uh, you just flip through the gears, and it's like, oh sweet, it's manual. still an automatic? I might still be an automatic. Okay, I think that's why. Yeah, I might still be an automatic. Like, my wheel is in tr my wheel is in manual, but the game itself is actually an automatic. I think that's what it is. I get it now. Yeah, because I haven't, I haven't shifted a single gear all this time. The game has just been shifting for me. I think I get it now. I get it now. You see, I'm stupid. I am very, I am very, very stupid. When it comes to me and brain cells, we don't go together. At all. My brain cells are off eating pizza. Drive trucks, IRL. Ew. Okay. I said it like, ew. I was like, ew. Okay. I wasn't like uh, disgusted by it. I was like interested. I mean, I, I don't want to be a truck driver myself. I actually want to start up a business being a truck driver, or not not exactly being. You see how stupid I am. I want to start a business of truck driving. Yeah, I want to start a business truck driving. That I don't know why that was so hard to say, but it was just hard to say because I'm stupid.
What's the speed limit here? Is it not 70? I can't even read that. I can't even read my dashboard. It's like still so pixely. A 400% scale and it's still so pixely. I'll probably just switch up my GeForce like 4K and then try that, see if it works. Even though my screen is like a 1080p screen, it's gonna look real finicky, but I don't know. We can always try it out. Going through the highway. This guy specifically overtook me. I don't know. This thing is only like, uh, what, 600 horsepower? So I can only maximize like 65 miles an hour. And then going uphill is just, uh, it's a nightmare for this thing unless you already have speed on you. Because your speed is just going to keep pushing you unless you don't have any. Go build it up, build it up. It's just one of these tunnels where you're wondering if you're actually gonna fit. It's like, oh boy, this tunnel is low. Let's see if I'm gonna fit. Actually, I have a story. I think I've already told this before. I think I have on one of my videos, but um, there's a guy I know. Um, I'm not gonna say his name. But, yeah, as a guy I know, he owns, like, a trucking business. He kind of gave me the idea of starting a trucking business, so, yeah. He doesn't actually do the trucking, he just uh, has truckers doing it for him. He's just retired. So, yeah, he has all kinds of truckers just uh, driving for him. And one of his truckers forgot to drop the bed of their trailer. So it's like uh, one of those dump trailers has a hydraulic and it dumps it and the guy forgot to drop the bed so he ended up driving that thing who knows how far and no one even no one cared to tell him so the guy drove the trailer somehow not even realizing that it's up he drove it into a highway a highway and still who knows how the hell he managed to do that he just right. took down the entire then highway. Take the exit on the right. Who knows how the hell he managed to do that. No headlights. No headlights. Off we go. Oh boy, not good. I should be more careful next time. I haven't done any trucking for who knows how long. I've just been playing and modding GTA so much, I just, I don't know. I lost my trucking touch. So, yippee. If anything, I need a stronger truck. In 200 meters, turn left. I need a truck that can at least, like, easily get 80 or something like that. Because if it can't reach 80 miles, we're gonna have some problems going uphill. Especially with the heavier loads. We're going to have some problems going uphill. If anything, horsepower really just isn't too much my problem. It's more the torque. The torque is a bigger problem. I mean, horsepower is just what keeps me moving. Torque is what gets me moving. In 200 meters, turn right. There was even like a, a little saying from I don't know how many years ago. Uh, horsepower is how hard you'll hit the wall. Torque is how far through you'll go. So just a little something from that. Though I forgot who made that quote. I forgot. I think it was like William something. I don't know. Let's keep going. I thought that was an RV back there. 
I honestly thought it was an RV. It turned out to just be a Peterbilt. What was that? A Peterbilt 579, I think? Yeah, it was a 579. Let's keep it going nice and careful through here. I'm going to turn on my high beams just in case because these American roads, just none of them have any lights. None of them. And even in this game, the towns are just so small. They are so small. I don't know why they're so small. But they are. They're just small. I mean, I, I have to say the same thing about Canada. Once you go, like, uh, northern Canada or outside Ontario, the towns are just small. You can, quite honestly, just, like, walk from one side of the town to the other side in, like, half an hour. And that's just walking. I think it's, like, half an hour. Keep left, then turn left. Okay, we are keeping left. Into a dark corner here. Watch as my torque fails me. Maximum 70 over here. This truck can't even max. It, it can't even reach 70. Highest it goes is 65. Oh jeez. I like Detroit Diesel because it's nice and quiet. Only thing is, Detroit Diesel is not strong enough for me. I mean, listen to it. It's nice and quiet. It's just like one of those things you could be driving for hours and just, like, not be annoyed by it. Then there's the engines, like the Cummins or the, the Caterpillar engines. Those things are just, like, plug your ears because I cannot stand those noises. I cannot stand them. just so much rumbling in your ears. Okay, we're good to keep going here. Another uphill here. Keep it going, keep it going. easier to stay in your lane in real life than it, than it is in like American Truck Simulator. I don't know, it's just like that for some reason. American Truck Simulator keeps swerving off my lane, but in real life it's just like, oh yeah, this is easy. You just keep the wheel straight and I stay in my lane. In American Truck, you just keep the wheel straight, you'll find yourself in the lane next to you. you just keep your wheel straight long enough. I see on a straight road too. Look at this, my wheel is straight. It is perfectly straight. My wheel has a lock just to tell you when it's like perfectly straight and it still swerves. I don't know, maybe these maybe these roads are just curved. Just secretly curve even though they look straight you know they look straight but they're actually not that might be what it is I'm 
now all I'm missing is just some kind of funny horn. Like the... What was it? The... Um, the General Lee horn, that's what it is. I'm just missing the General Lee horn. It's how you have this. Sound like a car. I don't even use this. You know what I use? Yeah, that thing just scares people. Even me just like walking down the sidewalk and I hear one of those things, it's just like, ah! What was that? Got a tanker up here. reminds me of like Wemis, uh, W H I M S. Um, I don't know, work health, something, something, something. I don't remember the name. Um, I did my two hundred meters. Turn left. I did my Wemis certificate like a couple months ago, and I passed it with flying colors, but still. <laughs> um, honestly, I I forgot what I was gonna say. Let's see if I can try to remember it. Hmm? Let's play that game. What was I gonna say? Oh, right, the certificate. Oh, my trailer almost hit that guy. The certificate. It, I don't know, it just feels so weird. Like, I'm trying to apply for a job and they require Wemis, and they're like, do you have your Wemis certificate? And I'm like, yeah, I have a sheet of paper that says Wemis with my name on it. I feel like it's supposed to be something bigger, but uh, this is all I have, just a sheet of paper with my name on it. He. I don't know, it, it just feels like, it feels so weird to have something like that. It just feels weird. Just having a sheet of paper with your name on it instead of like something bigger, like a, an actual card that says your name on it, or something like that. Like an official Wemis thing with a Wemis representative's signature on it, just something like that. I just, uh, hee hee, here's a sheet of paper with my name on it. That's how you spell my name if you haven't known already. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just, uh, it's my name. Honestly, I did Wemis and Ontario Health and Safety. I did that just for work. Just because I do co-op in high school. I mean, it's pretty fun. Co-op in high school is pretty fun. Even though I can't talk about it legally. <laughs> I legally cannot talk about it. It's still fun. We... We're just flying down these roads. What is this guy doing? Oh, come on, man. Come on. I'm flooring it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go, buddy. <laughs> ah, there you go. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, boy. Snow zone. Awesome. Am I not still in California? It snows in California? Honestly, where am I? If this is a snow zone. I mean, it's one of the southern states. I can't even tell where I am. Where's the state names? Uh, we got city names, guards for sale. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I, I can't even zoom out far enough. 
Yeah. Okay, so our destination is just right there. Let's keep going. I think I'm in... Oregon? Or is it Nevada? I think it's Oregon. Nevada is uh, one state northern than uh, Oregon. I think so. We going downhill. That's all fun and games until you start flipping over. That's not fun. Want to keep a steady fifty going down. You know the turns. Just like be extra careful with those. You know what? Bump it down to forty. Keep a steady 40 going down here. That thing is recommending 45. Is 45 good? Yeah, it's good. truck back there. Honestly, my, my favorite fire truck has to be like the black and red fire trucks. Like the red fire trucks with the black stripe going through it, those have to be my favorite. I mean, they look just awesome. You have like the black stripe and a chrome outline. It's just like awesome. Those, those trucks just look incredible. They look absolutely incredible. gas do we have left? Uh, three quarters of a tank. It says they're on the front dash, bottom left. We still have three quarters of a tank. So that's pretty good. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. notification on my phone from uh, who knows what a nice GLS that just passed. Uh oh, we got we got construction up here. Actually, that was a GLS, right? Or was it a GLC? I, I think it was a GLS. Yeah, it was definitely a GLS. Where is construction? Right up here. Yep, hello. Yeah, it's a GLS. I mean, I guess now is a good time to see what the. Now is a good time to see what the notification was. Without unlocking my phone. Damn it, I just closed the notification. Damn it, you know what? Just look at it later. <laughs> look at it later. I'm trying to get through a traffic jam right now. Damn, this spot's even, like, destroying my FPS. What trap do we got coming through? Nobody coming down? Absolutely nobody?
Finally, here comes the traffic coming down. That's a uh, Peterbilt 300 something. 359, I think. Then there's the VNL. I mean, the VNL is a pretty okay truck. You got the International something. I don't know the model. Then this is a Kenworth. Another Kenworth truck that I don't know. What are you doing? These pylons are just slowly unsinking from the ground. They're just resurfacing for some reason. Oh, hello. Hello. Really? Really? Speed up. Come on. Pick up the damn pace. Grandma. Come on, damn it, Grandma. Get out of the Mercedes. Mercedes is too damn big for you. Come on, Grandma. Turn left. Oh, I just got a cramp on my foot. That's not good. I did not mean to throw the wheel that way. Horse feedback. what this Mercedes is doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know what? Pretty soon I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna make a compilation of idiots on the road. Just American truck simulator style. Let's go, my turn. Get it. Let's go. Get it in there. There we go. Off we go. I mean, yeah, I, I'm just gonna do that. I'm going to make an American Truck Simulator compilation of just idiots on the road with my encounters. Another ping. Okay, we got Lakeview over here. destination should be a little bit further. We're 13 minutes out. <laughs> Add that to idiots on the road. <laughs> In oh, that meters, was perfect. Turn left. I don't know how many times I've actually run into idiots like that. It's just like idiots on the road, just like that. Like, what are you doing? Got grandma over here again, and going in our direction. And I just ran the stops, and I just realized. My bad. I guess I'm an idiot now. I'm an idiot following the idiots. We're running the damn stop sign. How stupid of me. I mean, it's just me being me. I am stupid. Very stupid. In 200 meters, turn right. Keep going straight, Grandma. Come on, keep going straight. There you go, Grandma. Thank you. This is a side road. I should not be going down here. Sorry, man. Uh, I gotta get through here. Okay, there we go. We're good.
In 200 meters, turn left. Okay. Turning left over here. This is a four-way go. There's not even a single stop sign over there. Oh, somebody just uh, ate poop over there. <laughs> you went up a little too far and you ate poop. Meters, turn left. I mean, should that also go on idiots on the road? I guess. This is my turn right here. And there's another turn up there, but this one's more convenient, I guess. You have arrived. Okay, sweet, right here. There we go. Perfect. Look at this. Perfect. Straighten it out a little. Just a little. straightening out just like this I'm hitting the barricade I make for a terrible truck driver absolutely terrible okay and those are our results. We got a total of nine thousand dollars and eight hundred XP, with only a sliver of it actually covering here. But anyway, that's going to finish it off for today's video. If you guys did like today's if you guys did like today's video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and do turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss another video from me. And other than that, you guys have yourselves an awesome day. I am definitely not a professional, but. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.